Guatemalan people is very attached to their land, to their families, to their communities. The reason they leave is because they don't have any options here in terms of jobs or support from the government if they were to go into business. But if you transform this reality of a society that is abandoned by institutions that are committed only to you know, fraud, larceny and whatever other form of corruption, uh, then you can have a country that begins to look for its own solutions and slowly we were going to have uh, you know, migrants coming back. Porque aquí está la gente que no se deja humillar. Aquí están los huehuetecos que no se hincan ante la corrupción. Aquí están los huehuetecos y las huehuetecas que quieren construir un futuro de dignidad con su trabajo, con libertad, con amor por su país y por su, tra y por su prójimo. Gracias, gracias pueblo de Huehuetenango. There, there is a movement on the side of society which has already expressed itself after what they have been trying to do after the first round of elections, which is creating a united front against the attempts to derail uh, you know, the electoral process and the rule of law and you know, betray popular vote. And to top that, we have the international support, which uh, has been very important in terms of closing the space for the type of uh, illegal attempts that they have been doing. But we are confident that we are going to come through. The first thing that will happen is that actually the United States will find a partner that is rooting out corruption and will have all uh, intention of actually working towards development in these areas and the basis will be one of collaboration and to working together to challenging social phenomenon that challenge both our governments. There will be a new chapter to our history. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.